This is about the medicine department of Dr. D. Y. Patil Hospital and Medical Research Center. D. Y. Patil University was established in the year 1987. The society started its medical college in 1989, which was initially affiliated to the Shivaji University Kolhapur, and later on affiliated to the Maharashtra University of Health Sciences Nashik. After almost two decades of status as an affiliated college. based on excellent and constant academic performance a very strong and aesthetic infrastructural system efficient and transparent governance and distinct potential for future progress the department of secondary and higher education ministry of human resources development on the recommendation of university grants commission ugc has accorded the deemed to be university status to dy patil education society consisting of dy patil medical college kolhapur DY Patil University is NAC accredited A grade institute. The DY Patil Medical College on a sprawling campus admeasuring 5.5 acres of land. The medical college is recognized by Medical Council of India for undergraduate and postgraduate programs. The name of the college is already included in WHO directory of medical schools. DY Patil Hospital and Research Center is a teaching hospital. attached to dy patel medical college kolhapur the hospital is equipped with a gamut of state of the art medical facilities which are required for primary secondary and tertiary healthcare our clinical practices led the way in pioneering treatments and providing exceptional care in areas of specialty including diabetes cardiovascular diseases infectious diseases and critical care medicine The hospital and department has always been interested in the care of medically underserved communities. It is crucial that we not only continue to explore and apply the growing number of technological advances in medicine, but we also remember that behind each disease is a person who deserves compassion and respect. Department of Medicine with its goal in the field of research, education, patient care, the core missions they are at the heart of our unique heritage. and the foundation upon which we seek to build a dynamic future curricular aspect since the establishment of medical college department of medicine has been the integral part of it which carries out all academic activities of undergraduate and postgraduate students through teaching programs like taking didactic lectures bedside clinics and demonstrations which helps all the undergraduate students to acquire the required clinical knowledge and skills department also has postgraduate md general medicine degree courses of 3 years duration with the current intake of 6 students enrolled per year who are trained rigorously by experienced teacher with a well planned teaching schedule including interactive sessions like conducting long and short clinical case presentations journal clubs seminars symposia grand rounds and general regular assessment is done to check level of clinical acumen of student to make them a good physician in their future life dr patil university frames the syllabus which is being regularly modified and updated by thorough discussion and deliberations in the board of studies and academic council meeting for academic year 2015 2016 newly added topics are transfusion medicine nano medicine disaster medicine occupational medicine and industrial medicine teaching learning and evaluation for undergraduate students as per the syllabus a detailed term wise time table is implemented which includes didactic lectures tutorials seminars and demonstration for clinical training students are posted in the wards where they are encouraged to take detailed clinical history and examine the patient independently and present the same to the teacher concerned according to the time table evaluation is done by conducting term ending bedside clinical examinations at the end of each term they also undergo theory internal assessment regularly the annual examination of medicine department is held after the completion of the nine terms with clinical examination in presence of examiners from outside universities as per the regulation of the dy patel university kolhapur post graduate students are trained to acquire the clinical skills by ways of working in outpatient departments casualty intensive care unit and they are also posted to specialty opinions like cardiology nephrology and endocrinology to acquire skill in those areas they are encouraged to examine the patient in detail and present in ward rounds and weekly teaching programs during the 3 years they are trained to diagnose and manage most of the varieties of cases 
with different clinical conditions. They are trained to handle various gadgets and to perform various invasive procedures like cardiopulmonary resuscitation, ventilator management, cardiac pacing, biopsies, aspirations, etc. They are encouraged in consultation with the guides to identify innovative and frontier level topic for research as part of their thesis. The postgraduates are evaluated regularly at the bedside in daily round weekly clinical teaching program which includes journal club, clinical long and short case presentations, clinical audits, CPC meetings and seminars. They are assessed annually by conducting annual internal assessment theory and clinical exams, the marks of which are given weightage in final exam results. At the end of three years, final exams are conducted in presence of examiners from outside universities as per the regulation of Diva Patel University, Kolhapur. Infrastructure and Learning Resources Department has sufficient infrastructure to train the undergraduate and postgraduate students and deliver its service to patients coming to the hospital such as large area of OPD complex along with specialty OPDs in cardiology, nephrology, neurology, endocrinology, hematology, rheumatology and gastroenterology. Daily OPD of approximately 300 to 350 and daily admissions of approximately 30 to 35 patients is handled by fully functioning 6 units on the respective emergency days with bed distribution of 30 beds per unit. Total beds demarcated to medicine department for ward are 180 out of which 100 beds are for male and 80 beds for female patients. The ward are equipped with separate demo rooms, laboratories, procedure rooms, pantry facilities and toilet for patients. Adequate and well equipped nursing stations and all facilities required for emergency management are made available in the wards as well as critical care units. 24 hours duty doctors and trained nurses are available to manage and meet the needs of the patients. Department of Medicine is adequately supported by a well equipped laboratory with advanced diagnostic facilities like automated hematological three part analyzer biochemical auto analyzer, immunoassay analyzer, electrolyte and blood gas analyzer. A modernized blood bank with transfusion medicine department has advanced equipment like automated coagulometer, platelet agitator, component separator, a pharesis machine, cell separator with deep free storage facilities to store at minus 80 degrees for one year, fourth generation ELISA testing machine etc. And radiological facilities with digital x-ray, state-of-art MRI, CT spiral, advanced ultrasonography machine having 3D, 4D and color Doppler probes. The specialty departments like cardiology provide diagnostic modalities like eco and color Doppler, TMT, Holter monitoring. Nephrology department has modern dialysis unit and neurology and diabetology departments are supported by electrophysiology unit with now condition velocity studies, EMG and EEG facilities. For critically ill patients, Department of Medicine has a state-of-art ICCU and ICU with 20 beds and occupancy of almost 100% along with the facility of central oxygenation, central suction, central monitoring with individual multi-para monitors, ventilators, defibrillators with availability of emergency drugs and with round-the-clock trained nursing staff supported by expert ICU consultants. Casualty department plays a very crucial role in primary stabilization of patient which is also well equipped with all emergency facilities. Learning is facilitated by availability of well equipped conference and seminar halls in hospital as well as medical college premises with advanced audio visual and projection facilities. College also has polycam web conferencing facilities. For upgrading knowledge and better understanding of general medicine, students get support from central library which has large number of books with round-the-clock reading room facilities. Department of Medicine has its own departmental library with approximately 375 relevant books along with reading room with adequate sitting facilities. Department also has computer and internet facility with subscription to ProQuest Medical Library with thousands of online books and reputed journals. Student Support and Progression the university has started a very novel program called University Moral Guidance Scheme for undergraduate students. Four to five students are assigned to a particular teacher who takes care of them 
for all their requirements. Monthly activities are performed where the students are trained in MCQs to prepare them for PG entrance examination. Every two months, teacher-student interactive programs are arranged. For postgraduate students, the university has started a unique program called Campaign on University Research and Training, that is CORP, which is an activity where postgraduate students get a platform to present work they have done on their thesis for the previous year. University for last 6-7 years conducts Campaign on University Research and Training, that is CORP activity, in which Students are encouraged to present the progress of the thesis work as a platform presentation by final year postgraduate students and poster presentation by first and second year postgraduate students which are assessed by a panel of experts. The top three performers in each batch are awarded with medals and certificates. University also supports postgraduates by giving grants for their thesis work. The college provides staying facility in hospital campus with well furnished hostel rooms, mess, Wi-Fi and recreational facilities like gym, indoor and outdoor sports facilities and swimming pool, research consultancy and extension. Departmental faculty being vastly experienced in clinical knowledge and skills also take active interest in publication and research activities. The department has in the last five years completed 600 research projects like the medical exposure to population around Jaitapur due to diagnostic applications. It was funded by Department of Atomic Energy, Board of Research in Nuclear Sciences, Government of India with a budget outlay of 2.5 million Indian rupees. Department has three ongoing funded projects and has submitted three new projects for funding to the central funding agencies like Department of Biotechnology, Government of India and Ministry of Environment and Forest, Government of India. Faculty of the department have 43 publications in various reputed international and national journals like Journal of Cardiovascular, Ecocardiography, International Journal of Recent Trends in Science and Technology, International Journal of Engineering Research and Applications. Department also has published two books. Department takes active interest in organizing conferences, CMEs and workshops regularly. This academic year, department has conducted two events like Recently, department in association with Association Physicians of India, Kolhapur chapter organized first CAD conference in Kolhapur, AMI Conclave 2014 on 30th November 2014. Conference brought together over 75 delegates with included eminent cardiologists and physicians. International faculty like Professor Free Craig, University Hospital, Nijmegen, Amsterdam, Netherlands and various prominent national faculty addressed the conference. The CAD conference was endorsed by Cardiovascular Society of India in association with European Society of Cardiology. It was first CAD conference organized in class B city of India like Kolhapur. Department also organized CME and workshop on VAP prevention in India setting in association with Society of Critical Care Medicine, Kolhapur. On 30th November 2014, CME brought together over 100 delegates who included doctors and paramedical staff working in ICU of various hospitals in Kolhapur. CME conducted by Dr. Kapir Zirpe, Director and in charge of Neurocritical Care ICU at Ruby Hall Clinic, Pune. The workshop provided details about preventive measures taken in ventilated patients. Departmental faculty regularly participates in international, national and state conferences as well as present papers and posters in these events. Department also encourages postgraduate students to participate in these events. Current academic year, 12 papers were presented in various conferences like Epicon, Mapcon, Mahakriticon, RSSDI, etc. by our postgraduate students. Department also encourages the undergraduate students to take up short research projects under STS program offered by ICMR. Department is aware of its duty towards the society. Multi-diagnostic checkup camps are regularly conducted in rural areas and the specialty departments conduct the awareness and diagnostic camps for the patients in the hospital itself. Poor and needy people get benefit of these camps where they are evaluated and given necessary treatments. Needy patients are referred to Dr. D.Y. Patil Hospital and Research Center for further management. The HOD is the editor-in-chief of the National Research Journal of the D.Y. Patil University, which is peer-reviewed and indexed journal since its inception from September 2007 also contributed to organize national and international conferences for the university. 
leadership. Departmental faculty members work actively on the executive boards of various professional bodies like Society of Critical Care Medicine, Association of Physicians of India, Kolhapur as Chairman, Vice Chairman, Secretary and Executive Body members which are actively taking part in organizing CME, workshops and conferences. Faculty members of the department are well represented in various academic bodies of the DY Patil University like Academic Council, Board of Management, Board of Studies and they contribute actively towards the decision making. Innovations and Best Practices Department is planning to initiate many innovative ideas to improve medical standard of students as a part of its department has launched its website www.dypmcmedicine.in which gives a platform to display the achievements of the department and also gives the information about department, faculty and research activities. Also UG and PG syllabus, details of current and alumni postgraduates and encourages everybody to go for the achievements. Department is also planning to establish three-dimensional experience in treating patients or creating medical emergency situations with innovative simulation lab unit which is already under implementation. Department is in the process of starting a comprehensive diabetic care center which aims to create public awareness, prevention, diagnosis and management of diabetes involving various subspecialties under one roof. The project report has been prepared for the implementation. Research, education and patient care, these are areas that independently carry exceptional challenges. Put them together and the challenges only grow. But so does the potential for making significant contributions to improve the lives of people in our community, nation and beyond.